So in celebration of Juneteenth, there was some uh, black people doing some major things uh, today. We had uh, one Shannon Sharp release another one of the long-awaited Club Shay Shay interviews. Was it who did he book? Who did he book for this? You know, significant Juneteenth holiday for his show. White man. You know, other than the civil rights leader, I mean, uh, no, um, political activist, no, um, sports pioneer for black, no, he, uh, he interviewed Dana White. Hey, the nigga Dana name White. is White. Dana White does think Mexicans are the most prolific fighters in history. Hey, yo, look cool, but it's on the black day though. Um, why you in the when's time you lose some? Why you why you releasing the Dana White interview on Juneteenth? That does that, Chris Brown talked about cocaine. It just does not seem like the thing you're supposed to do. There's not nan brother. You could have brought the club Shay Shay for non salacious reasons to just have a nice uplifting conversation on this day. Do you think he determines that? Uh, yeah, it's his show, Club Shay Shay, nigga. I mean, all edited him. and all that shit. But if Kirk Franklin come on there talking crazy, nigga, he tried his best. I got Kirk Franklin, nigga. Hey, look, and he came on here talking fucking crazy. When all your questions gearing them towards the crazy shit, it might happen that way. Again, you don't. You also don't have to get a crazy man talking. There's a there's Kirk plenty Franklin. of, of people that you could have got to be on your show. Hell, like Robert Kirk Smith, Franklin? it's graduation season. Robert Smith ain't gave a damn near a, 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 a hundred million dollars to nobody for graduating yet this year. He did it last year. You can interview him about that shit. There's a lot that could be done. Dana White just seems like a miss today of all the days you could have brought him on. And then, hey, look, I don't know how to, I don't know how to um, credit him for pushing the envelope in his interview because I ain't watched the whole thing. Well, 99% of it, I only saw this one clip, and it was the clip about the question that we all needed this motherfucker ask, to ask him. Hey, so when you hit your, uh, when you scratch out your wife, that's what we need. That's what we needed. That's what we wanted. Um, and Dana White, he, he answered it. Shannon did give it to him in in a nice, palatable way. And Dana did what Dana did. Said, "Man, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about me." Yeah, I hit that bitch. I mean, we be fighting. Only thing I ain't like is that the kids had to see their parents like that, and because they had never seen that before. We typically, you know, send them out the room when we start beating shit out of each other. He ain't say that. That was the greatest thing ever. That's what I heard. That was the greatest say. thing ever. He say, man, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about me papping that bitch up. I care about what y'all think about my kids for y'all seeing me pap that bitch up. That part. So, hey, look, I ain't even mad at him for it. Hey, fam, that I nigga, think, he, he was, he was like, he was this close to saying, man, look, had we been facing different directions, you like to have me see me slap that bitch over the balcony. She lucky she was facing that other direction, and it was me that was over the motherfucker. Lucky, lucky it was all easily acceptable. God damn it, had we been 180 degrees flipped, you'd have seen that bitch put loose. Put I'd, have, loose. I'd have slapped her, I'd have slapped the bitch up and wide, up and wide, right over that motherfucking glass balcony. You'd have seen the bitch. Mm. Nigga, I own the slap lead. You know why I thought about that? Slapping that bitch. I'm like, you know, this shit, this is palatable. Slapping the shit out of you is palatable, bitch. We're gonna start a motherfucking fight league. Hey, get it, get it cracking. 